Unfortunately, I've run out of lockers for the weekend, and with all terrains, it's going to be a bit testing. Sad as it is, mate, you've got no lockers. Damn it. Turn this way, other one, you're fighting me. Oh. Today I'm Simon Christie and welcome to Life Off Road. Last week we were at the Springs 4x4 Park. We hit hills, mud and rocks. And we're doing it all again this week. So hang around as we bring you the best tracks, fun and adventure from the Springs 4x4 Park in South East Queensland. Woohoo! Last day, up early, nice crystal clear morning, had some brekkie and set out. Great morning, we all had a nice breakfast, sat around the fire keeping warm because it is quite chilly out here. Have a good feed and then we all hit the tracks. So we decided today that we'll go out and explore a few tracks with Lucas the owner. He was going to show us a few treats but unfortunately I've run out of lockers for the weekend and with all terrains it's going to be a bit testing. So all I'm looking for is one fuse, it's got power on one side, but not the other side. And then say, it's got a break. Let's not worry about it, let's get back on the track, guys. Yeah. Happy to. Sad as it is, mate, we've got no longer. Yeah. Cooked at camp, recharged the battery, and for me, I was pretty good, I was feeling great, so I, I decided it wasn't time for me to drive anymore. going so far Chelsea? It's good, it's definitely different to driving my car but I'm enjoying it. Hopefully we'll find something a little bit harder for you. <laughs> no thanks, I don't want to get fired. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one reason I'm in the back. Yeah, let's go to the snakes and the snacks up. Bloody snack hog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I haven't heard that for ages. Even hot water. I have to say, Chris, thanks for turning the wheel around. Charles A. Stop it. Well, here we are, fellas. I'm not going to tell you the name of this track until we're halfway along it, because you probably won't want to continue. <laughs> I just read the sign. <laughs> well, I, won't. I think we just saw the sign. Oh, my Money loot. loot. <laughs> Damn it. As we got into 2.0 Kangaroo, it's getting harder and harder. And Chelsea and Sarah, man, they drove the wheels off that Gladiator. And they were newbies. It's the first time they've ever four-wheel drive. So with the right guidance and a capable vehicle, they did very, very well. Chris, how's Chelsea going? Showing everyone how it's done. <laughs> Awesome, I love to hear it. Well done, Chelsea. This is a nice rock for you, Chelsea. There you go, easily just jump in it. You'll be right. No one else. You're looking forward to this, aren't you? <laughs> I promise it's some mud and you've got a fair bit here. Yeah, we, we actually haven't had rain for two weeks since we had the deluge, but it just keeps leaking out of the hills. It's crazy. You're looking forward to this, aren't you, Jeff? You love mud. Mud is for millionaires. <laughs> Now 
impressed. You guys are innovators all the time. I can't believe the new products you pop out with, but you've just released a new board. Yeah, well, we couldn't help ourselves. We thought, why not? Let's make another one. No, we brought out a new compact. Back in the beginning, you started with the 1100 and the 800. So how short is the Mini now? Yeah, surprise, surprise, it's about 800. But it's just, it's a very different design. It's wider. Back when we did that, it was more of a scaled down version of our bigger board. This time around, we stuck with the same width, same mounting hole location, and made it 800. Like, we put a lot of work into getting the measurements and the sizing absolutely perfect for all vehicles. Well, Chris, two questions for you. When do I get my set? And when are you making some in camo? Uh, one, when we get back to camp, I was going to make sure that you didn't damage my new car before I went ahead into your prison. And camo, well, uh, stay tuned, buddy. We enter the real thick, swampy mud. Fairly slippery, pick the right line, get the wrong line, end up with panel damage or sitting on your side. Right, Lucas is in this little gully at the moment, right in front of me, pulling some absolutely mad angles, putting on a great show for the cameras. I'm not gonna be able to put on as good a show, but I reckon I'm gonna come up with something a little bit different for this one. Let's see how much trouble I can get myself into. My drive was off camber, yet uneventful, with the truck making light work of the deep washout. Sarah was up next though, with a slightly different result. So Sarah got hung up. I believe there is some merit to maybe you should crawl before you walk. I went straight in with a bit of a steep creek with a bit of a dip in the middle. Oh, was this way a little bit, just a tiny thing out. That's right, you just fell in. It's all right, you're fine. Which way do I go? Just keep going, just wheel straight. I'm gonna keep moving, Kevin. There it goes. Just hold it now. Keep going. Yeah, keep going. Come over here. Chris was very specific. His instructions were great. Told me exactly what I needed to do, but I still managed to get the tire down into the creek bed. <laughs> you guys are all good back there, Chris? Yeah, mate, we're good. Wanna try again? Uh, yeah, okay. Try again? Yep. Before anyone can get there, she's reversing back and picking new lines and trying to work her way through and work it all out. And everybody's amazement, she actually got through. I might just hold your wheel a little bit so yeah, you can you feel mind, it. Yeah. Just go straight. So now we've got the front to the comfy spot. Yep. Right. Turn this way. Yeah, I'm be fighting me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you proved a few people wrong. Uh, if I was ready to pull out. He the was. Head, he head, jumped head. the gun. <laughs> <laughs> so, well that was all to do with Chris though, to be honest. Great instructions, and it was a great experience to be able to give it a go. In the next section it was just right foot lock or here we come. Trying to get the dip lock in. Jesus. Lucas, you're into it. He might need a big eye Beko push. I feel like if that patrol's bogged, should I be driving? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be damn close to this tree. Oh. Oh. Hold your breath in, man. Oh. <laughs> see, see how he's slipping in a fair bit. He's trying to run the bank and it's pushing him in. Can you drive then? Nailed 
it down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've gone from the big hill climbs, the big rocks and waterfalls to the mud. Lucas has promised us a little bit of everything today and he has delivered. Sun is shining, the grass is green, the trees look beautiful, and the mud is flying. Does it get any better when you're four-wheel driving? Well, we've got one more car on all terrains to try and get through the mud, so we're gonna go and give him a hand. It's an easy afternoon. Leslie Drive, you know, get the touring stuff. And some tourists doing this. <laughs> Park there, mate. That's not what they told us. What are you doing? Is it a stick or a drive shaft? We're not parked, we're just waiting for a mate. <laughs> <laughs> and there is about three bucketfuls of mud in my passenger side. <laughs> Muddy's twin locked, no lockers, all terrain. Are we silly? No. So the smart thing would be to do a long winch up this way and bring him out onto flat even ground and up into this nice flat safer area. But what we're going to do, which is better for the camera, is do a short winch to this tree, try and get him on more of an angle and try and get a bit more of a wheel in the air. It's going to look beautiful. So don't tell him that, but that's the plan. It definitely felt a little bit of a Simon stitch up in it because he parked him there, but that's fine. I have trust in the bald man. <laughs> hey, Jim. There's no way in God's name we're going through there. Yeah. Goodbye, Jeff. <laughs> All right, winch in a little bit. The wheel lift, oh man. Like it, it was hooked up with that winch, dragging that truck through the rocks, but the wheel lift was just something else. You know, he, he did really well to keep it <laughs> shiny side up, to be honest. So I guided me through that section into the next section, because it was very, very sloppy, and I had one shot at it which was basically get in there, hit it hard, watch out for the tree on the right hand side, and try and get through. One shot with noise. That way, that way. This way. All right. Watch that tree. All right. How good was that? How good was that? <laughs> There's those all terrains! Holy hell! The little Jeep did it. We actually got through, we made a lot of noise, we spat a lot of mud out, but hey, we got through, and basically I feel a testament to the toy. Let's keep pushing on, guys, that's awesome! All right, passion suit, let's go. <laughs> So after we've gone through a bit of the mud section, we modelled the order up a little bit and then Simon was at front. The exit to that muddy loophole was a bit of a deep incline out. I mean, he was dipping out on 37th. Ah, see that? <laughs> ran, ran out of grunt. Hard in the back, mate, you can do a tar light. <laughs> Simon manoeuvred uh, the old Iveco backwards or forwards a couple of times and then had to get a shovel out and do some landscaping. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Woo! Or you can do it that way. I had the ARB lockers both in and most of the time I was on full noise. But yeah, the battle axe loves it. Jeff and I looked at each other and went, there's another line right here, guys. Let's just take that line. I got my hands dirty. 
wipe it on the camera, guys. They like it. <laughs> <laughs> it has been an epic day. I'm stuck again in this mud. There's a little challenge there that's quite formidable. The battle axe being the battle axe, had to give it a crack. I was burning too much of the clock, Simon's into me. Come on, Lucas, we need to go around this bloody hole. Anyway, we didn't listen. If you don't mind getting your car muddy, there's some good sections of zero traction, hardcore stuff to punch through. It's just that throttle control. Yeah. And then sort of understanding where your wheels are. Yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. Done. <laughs> After that, we just kept going through. And then all I heard over the radio was, Lucas, let's just go to the left line. We went left up the hill, which is Bald Knob Lane. To be honest, best decision made because we just climbed altitude like you wouldn't believe. Oh, I am sweating. <laughs> How was that, Anne? It's great, you gave me whiplash. <laughs> I'm sorry about the neck. <laughs> we ready to see the view, guys? Oh, yes. Apparently, it's beautiful. Look how far we're up already, the elevation. Oh, wow. Insane. This is the tallest point of the property, and the views up here should be outstanding. I mean, you've got that out there to the east, and it's just going to get better and better as we keep climbing. And look at that blue sky. There's that for a view. We've got to come back. <laughs> Have a look at that. Wow, that's just like it plateaus out. I was hoping it did. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to drop off the edge. You can't tell. Let me see the parachutes in the back. Wow. Smackers. Park up, guys. We'll get out and definitely have a look at this for a few minutes. That lookout was amazing to be able to see 360 views. The wind was lovely. It was nice. I honestly could have just sat there forever, not only because we had phone reception, but it's called Bald Knob. <laughs> it's the best name ever. Why is it called Bald Knob? I'm gonna show you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> it was just so cool to just sit up there and just soak it all in. It was a bit cooler. The sun was beating down. You're always gonna have fun, but to find places like that makes everything worthwhile. After three solid days of wild wheeling, it was sadly time to head back to camp. Pack up, hook up our Oztrack campers and hit the road for the next adventure. If you're a person who's a single or young couple, Oztrack campers, x 11s perfect. Outside cooking area, pop top. It's not a heavy unit, only weighs two and a half ton. So simple to tow, no issues at all, no wheel spin. It doesn't have to be a super modified four-wheel drive to get where you want to go. Couples, singles, young families, older families, we have a full range for anybody. The only thing I can say is absolutely outstanding. I will be sprouting it for ages. The diversity of the tracks here is something special. The highlight for me was Mud Hole Loop and the waterfall. Watching Lucas have a crack at that exit was just brilliant. Thanks to Lucas from Springs 4x4. What a great host. Sat around the campfire with us and made sure that we just had the best time we possibly could. Man, I'm shaking, the adrenaline's just cranking. I've loved the weather, I've loved every minute of it. I definitely want to come back. I was talking to Sarah, we want to bring our boys and take them four-wheel driving and see what we can do. One of the best parts about coming away on these trips, apart from seeing the magnificent scenery, is meeting up with the guys and I like hearing their stories. Oh! <laughs> You've got to get out and check this place out. It is worth every moment of your time to be here. Stay tuned for more craziness.
<laughs> Literally, this is what we're like when we're doing it, eh? Yeah.